my last Indian snack video, we did try treats and they freaking sucked, okay? They literally scammed us. They scammed us, they gave us all biscuits, everyone was commenting and was like, girl, you got scammed, okay? We got way better snacks in India than them biscuits. So, we are going to go to an actual Indian market and find a bunch of yummy snacks. Let's head over to this market. <laughs> You guys, this store literally has an entire aisle filled with snacks. I can't believe I did try treats. Like, being here makes me go, what the hell was I thinking when I did try treats? Because this is so much better. So we got all of our snacks. I got my lossy drink, mango lossy, which was recommended to me. We'll do a quick snack haul and Oh, I'm excited to try these. Okay, you guys, so I got, she recommended mango lassi, mango lassi, mango lassi, something like that. And I don't know exactly what this drink is, but let's give it a try. Mmm. This is really good. It just tastes like blended mangoes that were blended really good and smoothly. So, yeah. I don't know, it just tastes like mango juice. Really good, smooth mango juice. We got some spicy chili potato tubes, which look really, really good. We got these Masala Munch by Curcuri. Masala Munch, these look super good. We got the Masala Lays. They actually recommended the Masala Lays, so I'm very excited to try these because they look so good. Naughty Tomato, also in that same Curcuri curry brand these reminded me of cheetos so i was like okay we gotta get these what are these these are like they're called methi curry methi curry is the brand and they are crispy yet soft puff pastries so these just look like dried baklava if you've had baklava i'm pretty sure that's actually mediterranean slash greek but we also got masala peanuts oh my gosh this is by the brand telugu south india snack so we got those so we got panty purries which are wait 30 purry balls to make mouth watering panty purries guys we went in on the snacks i got so many i actually spent only 30 dollars so compared to try treats this was way worth it so these are garlic garlic mur mur maruku maruka so we got Kara Sev, Kara Sev. These are spicy, crunchy noodles, so those should be pretty good. I'm probably pronouncing all of these snacks wrong, so I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce them, so I apologize. And then we got Tika Mitha, Tika Mitha Mix. I don't know. It says it's like some sort of spicy mix. It was a really big bag, and it was only $1.99 for this whole entire bag, so I was like, okay, we got to get it. I think that's all the snacks that I got. Oh, I also got, this is called, so they're just like two little, like they kind of look like donut holes. Wait, they're cold. Oh, those are going to be interesting to try. Okay. And these were, we also got these. These are the little rice puffs. I, this brand is just called Gem. Okay. So we're actually going to go home to try these snacks because I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit too bright and this shopping little shopping center apparently it's like an international mall it's packed it's popping y'all okay guys so we're actually gonna stick it out in my car because the lighting in here is way better even though i have so many bugs in here oh i just killed one okay first thing we're gonna try are these little naughty tomato cheeto looking snacks and i'm pretty sure a lot of these snacks are gluten free so why is this so hard to open this is made with dal corn and rice bruh hmm wow they're kind of sweet kind of spicy they're like a sweet spicy 
Hmm. Do you have a napkin in here? I have one measly napkin. They're good, but they're just like a little bit too sweet for me. So let's try let's try this kind because this is the same snack as that one but it's masala flavored yep these are really good kind of spicy as well i don't know how i would describe the flavor of these but masala you can definitely taste they're a little bit spicy so okay Next up, we're going to try these. Okay. <gasps> these look good. These are like little straws. Mmm. These are good. And so far, everything's been gluten-free. So these are also gluten-free. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. They're not very spicy, I don't think. So they do have other flavors, which I would definitely love to try because, yeah, these are good. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Okay, next up, we're going to try these. These are the garlic mar maruku. These look really interesting. pretty good they don't have wheat in them so that's good they're mostly made out of rice flour they have a really they have a very subtle hint of flavor to them so they're not super flavorful but they're very very crunchy so if you like having a really hard crunchy snack these are pretty good these are the spicy crunchy noodles oh i really hope these are like super spicy i am craving something spicy oh oh they all just fell. oh okay that's what they look like you guys these also do not have wheat in them and these are good. These are really good. I like these. So, here's a bit longer one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. These are good. Making a mess in my car. Oh, there. They have a very, very subtle spice to them, but they're really not that spicy. Those are good, though. What up? what up what's next okay so it's like a whole snack mix in there i don't know what this is mm-hmm has really good flavor okay let's just get This again is like a sweet spicy also pretty sure gluten-free my mouth is kind of getting hot Mmm, this is good. I just straight up like savaged this I'm Trying to open it up Mm-hmm Yep Mm-hmm. They just taste like really flavorful peanuts. 10 out of 10. You don't get that many in the bag. That's all that's left in the bag, which I don't know. I definitely wish they give you more, but those are, I don't know. Those might be my favorite so far. Okay, we got Masala Lay's, which also were recommended to me. Mmm. 
Wow. Wow. They're the wavy lays. Mm-hmm. Kind of spicy. Really like the spice to them, but yeah, wow. These are 10 out of 10, you guys. 10 out of 10 for sure. These are really good. These I think you're actually supposed to drink with tea. I didn't get any tea. I just got my little mango juice, which pretty much done with. So I should have bought tea. I might go back and get tea. Okay, so it just comes wrapped like this. Oh, they're really flaky. So yeah, like I said, they kind of look like little baklavas. Okay, these are really, really flaky. I think you definitely need tea with these, so. I have to keep turning my camera on and off when I open these snacks because my battery is about to die. We are trying these little rice balls. They look pretty good. Mm. Okay, they're very hard, so I think they need tea. Really good though. They're kind of caramely. That's caramel, right? I don't know if that's caramel, but they taste really caramely to me. Okay, okay, so we have one more thing left to try, and that is the gulab, gulab jamun. They're cold, and they feel really juicy. Mmm, yeah, these are banging. They are bussin'. Bussin. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. These are so good. Wow. Okay, those are really good. I think my favorites were these. These were so, so, so good. And then also the Lay's. The Lay's were really good. So these, these, and then the Masala Peanut. So these were my top three faves for sure. They were so good. Loved them. Also the Gulab Jamun. The things that were in here those were also really good okay you guys so those are all of the indian snacks that we are going to be trying in this video i definitely think we redeemed ourselves from the first video these snacks were so much better and i'm definitely going to be eating these snacks the next few days so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and i love you guys so 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 much i hope to see you all in my next video bye guys